So I know you want him to be like Jesus. He can't. He I can't believe Muhammad is greater than Jesus. No, not according to the Quran. Muhammad is under the feet of Jesus. That's not true. You want to bet? Okay, you want me to prove it to you? In the Quran, who's the greatest woman Allah created? Mary. Say it again. Mary. Oh, so Jesus' mother is the greatest woman, and yet Muhammad is greater than Jesus. He's according to Sahih Muslim, where is Muhammad's mother? You, what do you mean where is she? she? She died. Where is his mother and father? Your prophet said they're in hell. Who said that? Your prophet said his father's in hell. And when your prophet went to pray for his mother, Allah said, do not pray for her forgiveness. Where does he say that? I'm going to say it to you. So I'm going to now use the Quran to show that Muhammad is under the feet of Jesus. Because you said he's greater than Jesus. He's not good enough to lick Jesus' sandals. But I'm going to show it to you from your Quran. I'm not even going to use the Bible. Let me get you the Hadith. Your prophet was weeping because when he went to the grave of his mother, he asked Allah to forgive her. And he said, do not ask for her forgiveness. And then he told another man, my father, Abdullah, and your father are in hell. They probably were. They what? I said, Muhammad's father probably was. Uh, and what about his mother? Possibly. Okay, so wait. You just told me Muhammad is greater than Jesus, and yet Jesus' mother is the greatest woman that Allah created. Why? Because she had because what? this birth. What does the birth have to do with Mary becoming the greatest of all women? Without Jesus, Mary is not great. Thank you. You just buried yourself. Yeah, Sue. So, you in mean? other words, because of Jesus, Mary became the greatest. Well, the only way she can be the greatest is if he's the greatest. Thank you, Sue. I see what you're saying. I Thank you. You got it now? I see where you're coming from. Uh, no, you just, I use your logic. What was your logic? Your logic was? Yeah, but Muhammad is great. Jesus than... made Mary Muhammad the greatest is great. woman, but Muhammad made his mother an inhabitant of hell. So Muhammad made his parents burn in hell. So hell. let's go to your logic. So his parents died by the time he was six. What has that got to do with anything? Why didn't Allah do for Muhammad what he did for Jesus? Why? He, what he did here, for Here's the hadith. Why didn't Allah do for Muhammad what he did for Isa? Why didn't he make Amina a believer and the greatest of all women? Because. Because what? They lived in a pagan. In no, a pagan because island. according to your hadith, there were the Hunafa, like Waraka bin Nofum. They knew the path because they knew about Christianity and Judaism. Don't give me that garbage. doesn't work. There are pagans. doesn't matter. Why didn't Allah guide her like he guided Waraka bin Nofum? To the right path because even before Muhammad, according to your Islamic tradition, the Hunafa they were there before Muhammad and they were guided on the right deen and they renounced paganism. Why didn't your God do that for Amina like he did it for Jesus' mother? What? Who's the Hunafa? The Hunafa, Waraka bin Nofum, Zayd ibn Amr, the people who found the correct deen. Before Muhammad. In your Bukhari, when Khadija wanted to confirm Muhammad wasn't demon-possessed, it says she took him to her cousin, Waraka bin Nufl, who in the days of Jahiliyyah became a Christian and wrote the gospel, and he confirmed that Amus came to him. And it says in your tradition, there was a group of them, the Hunafa, who left the paganism of the Kaaba and followed the true deen. So why didn't Allah do that for Muhammad's mother? What was the true deen? Following the path of the prophets, not the idolatry of the pagans. I just explained it to you. Yeah. Answer no, the question. Yeah. Why didn't he do that for Amina? I don't know. That's a question you're going to have to ask. Because Muhammad is under the feet of Jesus. Because I'm going to go by your logic, your words. I'm going to show you the hadith. Let's the go by your words. The only reason why I say Jesus is lesser than Muhammad is for two things. Two we, things. Believe, we believe Muhammad is the most beloved to God. That's the That's one. a lie from the pit of hell. Okay, I'm just, saying, I'm just saying. I'm saying that's what we believe, and the second thing is, uh, Prophet Muhammad is actually going to be the only prophet out of all the prophets to uh, to take away from our bad deeds, or not take away from our bad deeds. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Just because you think he told you that means nothing. Because what I'm showing you is Muhammad is under the feet of Jesus from the Quran. Now, let me show you here. Here's that deep Muslim. Just listen. Be patient, man. Because you said Muhammad is greater than Jesus, which is the most blasphemous thing you can say in light of the way he lived. But let's go with here. Sahih Muslim, I gave you the link. Abu Huraira reported, the apostle of Allah visited the grave of his mother and he wept. And he wept and moved others around him to tears and said, I sought permission from my Lord to beg forgiveness of her, but it was not granted to me. I begged Allah, oh Allah, forgive my mother. He said, no. And this is the most beloved to Allah. Making him cry at the fact that his mother died and he didn't forgive her. And I sought permission to visit her grave, and it was granted to me. So visit the graves, for that makes you mindful of death. This is Sahih Muslim. Here's the link. 
So I want to repeat your words. It's recorded. The reason why Mary's the greatest is because Jesus made her great. Well, if she's the greatest woman, because Jesus, that means he must be the greatest man. But your prophet Muhammad couldn't even make his parents great because they're in hell. You want to see where his father is? This is the link right there. I'm going to put it in private chat. This is from Muslim website, not mine. It's Sahih Muslim. Anas reported, verily a person said, messenger of Allah, where is my father? He said, he is in the fire. When he turned away, he called him and said, Verily, my father and your father are in the fire. So Muhammad said, my father is in hell and my mother is in hell. Now, I want you to be honest because I'm going to show you why Muhammad is under the feet of Jesus. Don't be upset. Everyone's under the feet of Jesus. Right. Everybody. I'm under the feet of Jesus. You're under the feet of Jesus. Right. Muhammad is under the feet of Jesus because he's the son of God who's the Lord of creation. But here's what I'm going to ask you and I want you to be honest. If you were living at the time, Muhammad, be honest with me. I don't want you to lie. Fear God because you believe you're going to stand before him. And Muhammad's companions came. Or Muhammad came, your mother's a widow, or your sister's not married, or your grandmother's not married, and they say, We're going to do muta. I'm gonna marry your mother for three days and then divorce her and pay her. What do you call that? What do you call that? That's prostitution. You just called your prophet a prostitute because he allowed Zawaj al Muta. Don't lie. Don't look, try to tap look, them. Look, look, look. So I did hear this in the Shi'i religion, but in the Sunni religion. No, it's in the Sunnah. Your prophet in Bukhari and Muslim, I'm going to give you the hadiths based on Surah al maidah 587. He allowed muta, then abrogated it. So I'm not saying you do it till this day. I'm saying at the time your prophet, when you as a Sunni believe he allowed it, then he canceled it later. So I'm not saying you do it today. That's why I asked you. If you're living at the time of your prophet and he had made it halal, acceptable, what do you call your prophet and his companion saying, go find a woman, marry her for three days, two days, doesn't matter, pay her and divorce her. You just called it prostitution. So you just called your prophet a prostitute. You mean a pimp? Okay, let's be nice. A pimp. Okay, so you're okay with him being a pimp? No, because he's not a pimp. Oh, so you mean when they do that to someone's mother or sister, they're not treating her as a whore? Yeah, that's what I thought. 